David in Nebraska was the New Testament written in Hebrew, Aramaic, or Greek. The New Testament written in Greek. Now, there are some Aramaic words that appear in the New Testament, uh, but beware of that. Which version of the Bible is reliable? The King James, the NIV, or something else? Uh, we recommend that you study. We use the King James Version Bible uh, when we're teaching here at the chapel. We recommend that you also have a King James Version Bible. The important thing is that you're able to use the Strong's Concordance with the King James Version Bible. If you try and use a Strong's Concordance, which is keyed to the King James Version Bible, you're not going to find some words that you're looking for from the NIV translation or some other translation of God's Word. That's very important, too, that you be able to break uh, the Bible back down to the original languages. It's difficult to translate from one language to another and complete uh, to, to, to have the entire message uh, communicated. Uh, the translators of the King James 1611 Bible wrote a letter to us when they translated the Bible from the original languages and they said, be careful to check out what we uh, translated, and that's why it's important that you have a strong concordance. For example, in, in Luke, I believe it is chapter 14, Jesus says to his disciples that if you want to follow me and if you want to be my disciple, you have to hate your mother and your father. Now, there's something wrong with that, you see. Why? Because Moses instructed us to love and honor our mother and father. So if you take that word hate, look it up in a Strong's Concordance, you'll find that it also means to love less. There's a big difference between you have to love your mother and father less than Jesus to be his disciple than to hate your mother and father. That's one of the Ten Commandments, honor your mother and father. Brian and...